guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Speedy Words. Speedy Words is a two to eight player game. It's for ages eight or 10 and up, I suppose, and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to play, and it is by Fox Mind. In the game Speedy Words, you're going to be getting a stack of cards inside of a tin. You're going to put that stack after shuffling it down on the table, and then everybody in turn order is going to draw a card. When a player draws that card, that card is going to reveal three different letters and three different colors. Associated with those three letters slash colors is going to be the top card of the deck. So for instance, if the top card of the deck is a red card and the card you flipped over has a red R, you're going to attempt to guess the word based on the letter, based on whatever the symbol is or whatever the subject matter is. So for instance, if food was the category and the red letter was I, you'd have to guess something that is a food that also begins with I, such as ice cream. And if you are the first person to guess that word, you're going to uh, attract the card to you. So you'll be gaining that card as a point. You're then going to flip over the card that was on the top and that's going to reveal the next letter category based on the top of the deck, which is going to symbolize the color and players are then going to try and guess that that specific letter matched with that category. First person to guess once again gets that letter or gets that specific card. It goes around the table up into the point where all the cards in the deck are taken and we score points. It's a pretty simple game. I already pretty much explained it all, but we'll go down below and I'll show you how it's played rather quickly and then we'll come up and discuss what I think about the game Speedy Words. So here's Speedy Words and everything the game comes with. Of course, the box and the tin where you'll be placing the cards. There is going to be a little booklet in the shape of the cards, which explains how the game is played, which takes maybe about a minute to read and understand. And then it has a reference card here with all the different categories and, of course, the colors with three of these extra little cards here, which are basically just advertisements. This is a tin box. It opens rather easily. It's made out of tin and it is nice it stores things in rather easily so you can put all the cards in when you're done playing the game and like i said to begin the game all you're going to simply do is take this deck of cards you're then going to shuffle it and then you're going to go ahead and begin the first player is simply going to take the top card of the deck flip it over and then you're going to associate the color and letter with the category and in this case the letter is f and the category is a tv series or a film and you'll have to think of a film or tv show that that is going to uh, associate with that letter. So for instance, Fargo. And if you're the first person to guess that specific film series or TV series, you're going to take this and place it next to you, uh, next to you in front of you basically. And the next player is going to then go ahead and flip over the next card. It doesn't matter necessarily who flips it because the person who guesses quickly or the fastest is going to be the one who gets the card. But to determine who flips, it's just going to go in turn order. A new flip has been taken place and now we have a famous person with P and that's going to be, uh, I don't know, Popeye? I suppose I'd be a famous person. And that person would gather the clue if they got it first. And then once again, we'll flip it over again. A profession with the letter N. Uh, how about a nurse? Okay, so this guy got it. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one here. Plant or tree with the letter G. Oh, I don't know about plant or a tree with the letter G. I guess it would be uh, geranium, I suppose. I think that's the, I think that's the word for it anyways. And next, flip it over. Food that begins with N. How about noodles? And as you can see, that's pretty much the entire aspect of the game. Name a boy or girl name with the letter R. Rachel. And the game is going to go out throughout the entire deck of cards until everybody has basically gained all of the cards. And if you're playing a pretty simple, small game, like a three-player game, you're going to make sure all the cards eventually run out of the deck. And when that happens, you're going to take the cards, you're then going to count them up, and the player who has the most cards in front of them as victory points is going to be the winner of the game, Speedy Words. A quick game to understand and a quick game to play, but is it a game you want to pick up? Let's come up and find out. So let's go ahead and discuss Speedy Words over here, which of course can be fit into this box here, or if you want, you can just use the tin. Depends on how you like to... Uh, basically put things together. In fact, for me, I actually prefer having it in the box just because it fits with the rest of my board games. The game is rather simple. It's one of those games where you're basically going to know if you're interested in the game after just seeing it played. You can tell if this game is going to be fun for you and your playgroup by watching like three seconds of this game. You're going to shuffle up the deck, deal it out, and then the speed rounds begin. Do you like these quick thought process games? Then this is going to be the game for you. There's about 10 categories of cards. There's three different colors, and you're going to attempt to try and guess as fast as you can the words that are going to score you the point for the specific card. The deck's gonna run out rather quickly. If you play with a two-player game, it'll be quicker than playing with probably a three or four-player game, but not always 
necessarily true. Just really depends on the thought process of the group. The only one small thing I can say about the game, which provides an interesting reaction, I don't even know if it's a negative or a positive, but on the occasion you'll get the same letters and the same colors, and then you'll just go ahead and choose to uh, say the same word or not. And I think with our play group, we'll probably not choose to say the same word. So if we get a, a city that starts with an H and we say Houston for Houston, Texas, the next time a city that comes up with H in that game, it pops up, we're not gonna be able to use Houston, we're gonna have to use something else. And uh, I, don't, I don't even know what another one would be with H. But regardless, that would be the one little interaction with this game. It's quick, it's fun, it's a nice filler game. It plays with young kids, it plays with family. This is a game that I can highly suggest with pretty much anybody for any play group. Kids are gonna dig this game. It's a great one for family gatherings. You could take it and pretty much play it anyways, because anywhere, because it's so small, so compact, and even in that little tin, it's travel size friendly. With pretty much everything you need for the game. I won't dis I won't put any dismay on the artwork or the symbolism for the game because it's exactly what you need to be able to remember the symbols, remember the colors and all that kind of stuff. Overall, I really enjoyed Speedy Words. It's a game I could easily pick up for friends and family. It's a nice stocking stuffer. If you're interested, take a look at it. It's a link in the description below. By Fox Mind, I solidly approve of this game.